What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with a Good Doctor video if you're new. Now, this is going to be the review for The Good Doctor Season 4, Episode 1. If you're a fan of The Good Doctor, if you love The Good Doctor, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on The Good Doctor, you get them. Now this is a quick review for the premiere of The Good Doctor. I just wanna talk about it for a second. You know, this episode starts off with just everybody getting back on with their lives, you know, going back to normal. We know that Dr. Melendez passed away in the season finale of The Good Doctor. It was a very sad and a very emotional season finale. A season finale that I particularly did not like, I did not care for, just because they killed one of the best characters off. I really love Dr. Melendez. When the show first started, he was kind of a dick. I did not really care for his character like that, but his character really grew on you if you're a fan of this show. Sean had a special place in Melendez's heart. You know, he was really starting to like Sean. He thought he was a good doctor and he thought, you know, he was a great person. It just sucks seeing the show return without Dr. Melendez. Claire and Dr. Lynn were talking and you know they were just like i guess we just gotta move on they said it's hard to do but you just have to do it you just have to keep pushing and you just have to live each day one at a time you know it's gonna take time to heal from a death of somebody you care about just like recently in real life with my grandma you know it's gonna take me some time to get over this actually i'm never gonna get over it you know it's just gonna take me some time to actually feel normal and that's the same thing with them in this show. You know, everybody was close to Melendez. Claire, Dr. Lynn, you know, Dr. Lynn was dating him at one point in time, but Claire was starting to develop some real feelings for him. And you know, Sean really cared for Melendez too, but he just didn't show it like that because he's Sean and he doesn't show emotions like everybody else. But it was nice seeing Sean and Leah's new relationship in the season premiere we know that they ended up kissing at the end of season three. You know, Sean got trapped and Leah was so worried about Sean. She thought she was gonna lose Sean. She thought he was gonna die. And it took that moment right there for her to realize she's actually in love with Sean. You know, she knew that she loved Sean before, but just in a friend type of way. And it really took for a tragic event to take place like this, where a kid and some other people died, for her to actually realize that she does love Sean. So it was cool to see this new relationship between the two of them. You know, it's gonna take some time for it to actually work because she was saying she wants to take it slow. She doesn't wanna stay the night with them right away and stuff like that. So it's gonna be interesting to see how their relationship goes forward in the rest of the season. I really did like Sean's girlfriend in season three. I really, really liked her and I wish Sean wouldn't have ended it with her, but you know, Leah, I think, is meant for him, so I guess we just gotta wait and see. Now, I really, really like this episode because it has a lot to do with what's going on in the real world right now. You know, this episode was based on COVID-19. There was a lot of patients coming in the hospital with COVID. You know, they were getting tested and it was coming back positive for COVID-19. And it's just so crazy watching this because this is exactly what's going on in real life right now. You know, people across the country are getting tested and it's coming back positive for this virus and nobody knows when it's gonna end. There's a lot of people out there not wearing masks and then there's people who are, you know, the smart people wear masks. And I gotta admit myself, you know, I don't wear masks every single place that I go, but I do wear them most of the time. But it's just scary watching an episode like this because this is real life stuff right here. They even put in this episode that this episode is dedicated to all the people who have been tested positive for COVID, all the people who have lost their life to this virus. And it literally centered around COVID-19 in this episode. And I just gotta say, that was a really smart idea. You know, this show is about doctors. It's about a hospital and stuff. It's about the medical field. So for them to incorporate COVID-19 into this episode, that was really cool that they did that so people can actually watch this show and realize that this virus is no joke and people need to start taking it seriously. So 
I'm really glad that they put that in this episode. You know, I really enjoyed that part of this episode. But overall, man, it was a good episode. It was a good season premiere. I can't wait for the rest of the season. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with everybody's relationships. I can't wait to see what other crazy stuff is going to happen in that emergency room. There's a whole bunch of crazy stuff that always happens in that hospital. So I just can't wait to see what this season holds. But I'll be bringing you guys more good doctor videos in the future. So keep supporting your boy and I'll be continuing to bring y'all this content. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. It definitely helps the channel. You know, I really appreciate it. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.